Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 30th of January 2019. Just read an article on Yahoo Entertainment posted on the 29th of January. Kamala Harris has an extreme idea to get gun control legislation passed. While well, fielding a question about gun violence during a CNN town hall appearance, presidential hopeful Senator Kamala Harris called out Congress for the lack of gun control legislation, and she even suggested harsh means to encourage Congress to introduce a new bill. Harris started her discussion about gun reform by saying, quote, you can be in favor of the Second Amendment and also understand that there is no reason in civil society we have assault weapons around communities that can kill babies and police officers. Harris shamed Congress for not introducing a bill following the 2011 assassination attempt of Arizona Congressman Gabriel Giffords. Giffords was shot in the head and six innocent bystanders were fatally shot. Harris slammed Gifford's colleague saying, quote, the people who work with her every day who know her, you know we have colleagues. We know them. We know their children. We break bread. We share holiday moments with them. The people who knew her didn't act. Hmm. Senator Harris became even more impassioned while discussing the inactions by Congress following the 212 Sandy Hook elementary school shooting that took the lives of 20 children between the ages of 6 and 7. She said, I think somebody should have required all those members of Congress to go in a room, in a locked room, no press, nobody else, and look at the autopsy photographs of those babies, she added, and then you vote your conscience. Senator Harris' response resonated with many viewers, with one person tweeting, truly blown away by the answer that Kamala Harris just gave on gun violence. All right, let's uh, do a little bit of a recap. First of all, Jared Lafner used a Glock 19, a 9 millimeter semi-automatic pistol. He didn't use an AR-15 or a long gun. That's number one. Number two, the jury is still out on Sandy Hook. If this thing moves forward uh, with uh, legal actions that are being taken, uh, then we'll see it, what kind of new evidence surfaces. What about the new law that Democrats just passed in New York by Governor Andrew Cuomo? Maybe people should go into a room and take a look at what's left as these babies that are full term are being butchered and taken apart. Maybe that's what they should be taking a look at. Huh? Absolute joke. You know what's amazing is they talk about gun legislation. What does that mean? Huh? You know what that means? It means total confiscation. Just like I said, Lofner used a semi-automatic 9mm Glock with an extended magazine to create the carnage that he created. I believe that Jared Lofner was another MK Ultra graduate. Look at his eyes. Look at the Colorado shooter, James Holmes. Same thing. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. How about the shooter in South Carolina, Dylan Roof? Look at his eyes. They're all MK Ultra graduates. You think not? You're not thinking. Absolutely completely and totally insane. Kamala Harris is dangerous for a whole lot of reasons. She climbed the ladder in the political theater by being bedded down by the previous mayor of San Francisco. He was over 30 years her senior when she was screwing him. Absolute joke. Kamala Harris, presidential hopeful. Again, why don't they go take a look at watching babies being ripped out of the womb of women, being disassembled? Democrats. Democrats.
Democrats, KKK, Democrats, Jim Crow laws, Democrats, anything and everything that has horrific results revolve around who? Around Democrats. There's an embedded video, you might want to listen to this stupid bitch. And that's exactly what she is, a stupid bitch. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to send a copy to that stupid bitch, Kamala Harris. Thanks for listening. Absolutely disgusting.